Hey, this is Tim here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is video number, what number are we on now? This is video number six. And uh, again, I, I'd like to say, I'd like to start off saying you should be able to do this on your own right now. You should be able to create an orthographic projection of this and an isometric. And you should be able to put it in a, 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 a title block, that I get, like I've shown you, with the title block and the dimensions and all of that. Um, you should give it a lash yourself and see if you can do it. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, if you're having major problems with it, no worries. Um, I'm going to go and do it now anyway. So uh, I'm going to do a nice. I'm going to do an orthographic projection. It's going to come in from the front. This is going to come in from the top and the right hand side. Um, that is called. They call that third angle projection, and that's how. Uh, the Americans do it. So the front and the top and the right side. Um, I've been here so long now, I can't remember how we used to do it. In, in Europe and elsewhere, they call it first angle projection. And everything is back to front. Um, so just kind of be aware of that, uh, that there's two different styles. And if you're sending drones that are done in America to Europe, you might get your parts back to front. Um, that, that's, that, that happened to me once before, but don't. I don't want to get bogged down, you know. So at the end of the day, I'm just showing you a bit of AutoCAD. Um, I'm also going to probably do the dimensions like they are here. It looks like they're all in halves and quarters and one and one eighth. I'm going to probably do that on the dimensions, kind of keep it very, very sim similar. Um, I'm going to do the isometric, um, which is a little bit challenging, but it's a bit of fun. Um, so that's the plan for this video. Um, so let's start by going new and I'm going to go into sheet set and I'm going to click on manufacturing imperial all right and this is our nice title block that we used before I'm going to go to model and this is where I'm going to draw on all the action now I'm going to turn on the grid I'm going to make sure the old polar tracking is on and the object snap is on okay I'm going to right click on the old UCS icon we don't need it and uh, let's have a look we're going to draw the front view first and i'm going to say this point right here is going to be my origin so i'm coming over six and i'm coming up a half so i can remember that you know now where these documents are if you want to print them out they should be in the inf information bar below so six and up a half so i'm going to, I'm going to give myself a line my first point is zero comma zero I'm going to come over now. Make sure you have this um, cursor snapped at zero degrees, and we can put in there six. And then I'm going to go north, and I make sure I get the old snap 0.5. I don't know how to do that right. Let me just let me do it again. 0.5. Now um, I'm going to come over one and a quarter. And then I'm going to come up, I think it's one and a quarter as well. So it's one and three quarters minus a half. So it's one and a quarter. Over one and a quarter, up one and a quarter. Let's see what that looks like. We come over 1.25. Let's I see, I have it at an angle. Press escape. 1.25. And then up. Shit. Here we go. Come on. 1.25. I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to come up. Now, hold on a second. I, I don't know if I've shown you mirror. I have to show you how to do the mirror. Right. Um, I'm going to put in um, a new layer called construction. I'm going to make it yellow. And I'm going to double click on it. Like so. Now, I'm going to click on this lad here. And I'm going to make sure I have the midpoint is selected. Are you paying attention? Watch this. Snap. All right. So I know I should do a little bit more here. What if this is three and a half? Oh, you're going to make me think now. That's two and a half. So that should be a half an inch. All right. Let's go back. So I'll come over here. Snap. I'll come over half an inch. I'm on the wrong layer. Let's press escape. Go back to zero. I'm going to come from 
There over 0.5. I can't remember if I showed you how to mirror or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mirror. Select objects. I want to select these guys. Select mirror point. I'm going to select this guy. And I, it snaps here anyway. That works. Do we want to erase the source objects? Press enter because that's the default. No. Now we're cooking. I'm going to draw a construction line. Now let's get on the right layer. Like so. And I'm going to draw a couple of lines up as well. If I was drawn with my, my pencils and my drafting table, I'd be using this. These yellow lines would be extremely light. They'd be with a 6H pencil, and I'd be using the T square and the dowel 60 30 triangle, and I'd be drawing these lines up. And this line would be drawn with the T square. Um, you probably don't even know what that is. All right, let's let's offset this guy. Let's bring him over two inches. Ah, look at that, lovely. And let's bring it up two inches. Now, um, the depth of this is two and a quarter, so I'm just going to go here, 2.25, and move this up. And let's go back to it. The radius is one and a quarter, so I'm going to go back to my zero. I'm going to get an old circle. Radius. It must be already at the radius. 1.25. Ah, lovely. And I'm going to go to trim. I press enter to select everything. There's one. And there's two. Now here, what's the thickness again? I want two and a quarter. Okay. Offset. I'm on the wrong layer. Offset, offset. 2.25. Right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, get myself a construction line. And I'm going to project all these lines up. And that's going to help me locate all these lines at the top. And again, this is an old school technique. And I need to do the same here. Uh, look, I'm just going to draw these in. And here to here, and there to there, and there to there, ah, stop, and there to there. If I was looking down, what I just drew there, I drew this line, I drew this line, this line, this line, this line, and that line. You'd see all of those, okay, from the top view looking down. Ah, but Tim, this is a curve here. When you look, if you close one eye and you look straight down on this object here, if you were a bird flying over this, it would look like a rectangle. Now we're going to get the two uh, half inch holes in here, and they're over one and one eighth, which is half of that. And then how how much in are they? And they're four and three quarters is the is the center to center distance. So um, four and three quarters. Um, I'm in no mood, so if I go offset distance, 4.75 divided by 2, is it going to let me do that? What a pain. Um, hold on, hold on, I can do this. 4 point, that's 2 and 3 eighths. 2 and 3 eighths. Um, 2 and 3 eighths. Uh, come on now, 2.375. Now, I had to do... I had to do that in my head. Um, 2.375. And there to there. Um, you shouldn't have to do that really. Do you know what I mean? You should be able to put the arithmetic into AutoCAD and have it just do it for you. Um, I don't know why, that, why it doesn't let you do that. Um, all right, anyway, look. Uh, what uh, What is that? Half an inch. So I'm going to lock in there. Let's let's slow down here. Slow down. Click. What's the radius or d for diameter? 
0.5 we'll do the same over here b for diameter 0.5 um, I drew these in the top view first because I'm going to take my construction lines and I'm going to get rid I don't need this anymore and I don't need this anymore and I'm going to go here and I'm going to have vertical one two three four and I'm going to have dash lines from there to there and there to there representing that these holes are through holes so let's right click here new layer H I D D E N hidden one. Uh, we like white, white will do. And we want a, a line type load. Come all the way down, I'm just dragging it down. Border, border where you center. Fence line hidden. Lovely. Right, I'll double click on it to, to make it my current layer. I'm just going to get myself a line. And I'm going to go from there to there. And from there to there and from there to there okay now um, I need to I need to um, draw some lines across we get the hidden construction line going I'm just gonna put this here here we go now what what is this gonna look like um, we get the rectangle You're going to see this line, yeah, but there's also a hidden line from the bottom of that curve there. But the main line, the solid line, will take precedence. Okay. What are we missing here? We're missing the the hole here. Now, we know those holes are um, one, one and an eighth. So I'll get a construction line, and I'll go get my um, offset, and I'm going to go 1.125. An eighth is 1.125. And then we know I need to go a quarter of an inch in this and a quarter of an inch in that direction. So I'll get this going. Is that right? A quarter of an inch, 0.25. All right. And I'm going to go to my hidden line. And go from there to there. I'm pressing escape to get out of my command and just redoing it. Now, I'm getting rid of the construction. And that's it. That, is that is that everything? Let me think about this. Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, it, it's good. It's even though something that, in fairness, this is it's simple enough to me. It does challenge me a little bit to have to think about what what views and what you would see. Um, we'll put in uh, what else meets. I'm I'm in annotate center mark. We go there to there. Come on now, we'll do another one. And we go from, now I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see does it work. Um, this should be a center line. Now what's happening is the scale is a bit messed up. Um, we need to change the scale. But before I do that, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a new layer called dimension. And, oops, let's make dimension. Uh, look, we'll make it cyan, or you could make it light green, whatever you want. I'll double click on it and I'll click this and I don't have to hold down the control key or anything. I'm just I'm just left clicking I don't know some people would probably leave those as being white I'm not sure um, we'll make them there we go now I've got to get that guy as well right um, I'm going to type in an old command, LT scale, LT scale, line type scale. Let's try that again. L T S C E. There we go. Press enter. Enter a new line type scale factor. I'm going to bring this up and let's see what happens. 1.5. And that was the wrong direction. We press up to do the last command. Um, I'm going to make this 0.75. Uh, now we're cooking. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make that 0.5. Now we're laughing. That's what we want. So what was that line type scale? It just changes the scale of 
uh, I think in a global, all of the lines. Um, so let's get some dimensions on this bad boy and then we'll do the isometric. So we'll go. No, I'm on the wrong. Ah, look at this dimension. That's interesting. Is that is that a the dimension? Is it hidden? I got to make that continuous. There we go. So I had the wrong long, the wrong line type. Now I got my centers here. Now this guy is still on the wrong layer. Let's put him on dimension. And then let's get our dimension. Let's put that in there. Six. The big dimension goes to the outside. 4.75 that doesn't seem right let's try that again so from there to there lovely 3.5 1.25 what else do we need we got those I need that'll do You know, like if I'm just if I'm gonna be in, like I just put last. Oh my God. Let me just delete this. I'm, what, I'm, what did I just do there, really quickly? Control X, and can I then, then I click Control Y to redo. The old um, yeah, that'll that's fine. One point one two five. Uh, we need this radius here. Point five. Um, we got the location of those holes. We got this size. Um, we need this height. What I do when I'm when I'm dimensioning, I imagine that I have to build this myself. Now that's if you're a machinist, that's going to be easy enough for you. So I'm looking at do I have all the dimensions to make that hole? Yeah, I have um, its radius. I have its center. Um, what do I need? I need to I need to know this height. So just put yourselves in the machinists or the person that's going to make this. Put yourselves in their situation and try and think about everything that is needed to make the part. Um, we could also do this. If I double click on that, can I go um, times two places? Ah, oh, yeah. Two places. Let's try that again. To PL, and I should be able to drag that out. There we go. That's what we want. Yes. Anything else there? That's all we need. Um. No. Um. This look. You could probably move uh, this dimension over to this side here. It might look a little bit better. Right. Uh. That was the fun part. So I'm just going to save this. And what are we going to save this as? Um, lesson six. And right, so we're going to do this as an isometric. Right, let me. I think I need a cup of tea before we do this. Right, I'm back. Um, so let's give this isometric a blast. Um, I'm going to start here. And what's the first things we need to do? I feel like we need to turn off um, polar tracking. That's F10. I need to turn on isometric tracking. And I'm going to start with this isoplane top. Um, we're only going to use the other two, I think... Um, why am I starting with that? I know that I'm going, I, I know that I need these lines here. I'm going to go off in this direction and six in that direction. And I have the dimensions here, 2.25. Um, so I'm going to put on, I'm going to turn off this and I'm going to go to snap. Now, I don't know why we can't pick, is it, uh, I'm going to just type it in snap. And we want to snap spacing. I'm going to go a 0.25 just for the time being. And I'm going to draw a line. 
and it's what's nice about this snap is I can that's the really I'm gonna start with this point right here and I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna come over uh, two point two five and I'm on the wrong layer so let's go and put this on layer zero really quick and let's go back to it and then here I'm gonna come over and you really want to pay attention you want to make sure you're going on the right on the right um what right line i suppose is what i'm what i'm trying to say along here and then i'm going to come over uh now that's not right here we go 2.25 and then i'm going to complete that um what would you call it that 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 square or rectangle the isometric rectangle and I'm going to come up then, uh, how much we're going to come up, a half an inch. Now, hopefully this will make sense. Now, it does let me go up there a half an inch in that direction. I thought I would have had to change planes there. I think those isometric planes are for when we have to do those iso circles. You know, and... If you're saying, if your brain is saying, this is so obsolete, and why the hell are we doing isometrics um, when we could just go into 3D and screw this, I could do this, it sort of works in five minutes. You know, all of these things are true, but um, there is something to be said for, for like, like, I know there are students of mine that if I gave them this and they didn't have SOLIDWORKS, and they had to create these front, top, and side views. I know there's someone that would be able to do that. Um, there is something to be said for going over, knowing the basics of how these views come about and how people drew, um, uh, how how people drew orthographic and isometric projections. This is before um, 3D CAD packages. We're not going to we're not, we're going to spend one more example doing an isometric, and then we're going to move into 3D. But there's no harm in doing this. It makes you think. Um, so that's it, that's my spiel. Um, so this is six inches, and then this is three and a half. So I have to think here. Then it's that's two and a half uh, is the remainder divided by two. Uh, two and a half is one and a quarter. I'm sure it says it right there. One and a quarter. Okay. So I'll go here. I'm going to come over one and a quarter, and I'm going to come up. Ah, yeah, see, see, it, it won't snap to there now. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to do this one, one and a quarter. Don't worry, we'll go back to that now in a second. And I'm going to complete this. And I'm going to do the same over here. One and a quarter. Two and a quarter. And go back. Hopefully, is that, yeah, that looks right. Okay. And now I'm going to, ch I think I have to change this isoplane. I'm going to go with this isoplane left because mm, that doesn't seem right. Man, I don't know. Um, now we're going to see you separate the men from the boys. Um, I want to go up. Now. 90 degrees i want to go up 90 degrees okay but what i could do is i can go up 90 degrees and i can make this 1.25 and it will do that i can handle that and i'll go here i'll give it the right direction then i'll go 1.25 and then i'll go i'm going to come over here like so i i have a, I have a plan i'm going to come up 1.25 I used to work for a wind tunnel company in Maryland, and uh, when I'd get bored of um, drawing solder works or drawing drafting on the computer for eight hours a day, I'd kind of walk around the, the plant. And uh, one day I was I was um, looking through these big massive drawers of old drawings, uh, plans that the, the engineers that did back in the 1960s of wind tunnels. It was actually a supersonic wind tunnel that was built for the Naval Academy. And uh, 
it was done in isometric and this thing was a work of art it was just incredible uh, so much just insane amounts of detail and the drafter i you know he must have spent about a month creating this drawing so um what am i trying to do here um i need an i need uh, an iso circle and i need that point there and this is where you have to think um I'm going to click on axis end and I know I need to click on this one because I tried the center one and it didn't work. I was looking for this ISO circle command here and I'm going to click I and it says specify center of ISO circle. Now I was kind of hoping if I, if I go there and I come over, I kind of need my point. I know it's that point there, but I, I need that point. So I'm going to have to get out of there for a second. And I'm going to go back and I need to come over uh, 1.75, but it's three and a half divided by two. Oh, my brain is melted. Is that 1.75? Uh, oh, my head is melted. Hold on a second. This is embarrassing. 3.5 divided by two, 1.75. Okay. So I go here, come over. 1.75 and I'm just going to draw a line over here too that 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 point is important and I'm going to go back to ellipse I'm going to type in I for ISO circle specify center of ISO circle okay now what are you thinking is that the right is that the right see I want to my brain is wants to instinctively rotate orbit this but you know that's not right we go here to isoplane my money's on isoplane left well let's give it a blast i for iso circle i'm going to click there i'm going to bring this down now what's the radius the radius is uh, 1.25 1.25 all right and i'm going to do this I'm going to go move. No, no, copy. All right, I'll press enter. Specify base point. It's going to be that guy. And watch this, I'm going to move it over to there. And this is, this is, this is nice though, you know, knowing how to do this stuff. Uh, trim, press enter. I'm going to trim this. Oh man, yeah. I have to delete this now and oh there's a lot going on you're not going to see that I feel like you're not going to see that um, you're not going to see this so I'm going to hit trim again I'm going to trim and ah, no, hold on a second trim press enter trim 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 there we go get rid of that you're not going to see this line you're not going to see that line you're not going to see that line oh yeah you're not going to see that line uh hold on a second let's get our line going from there all the way to there and there all the way to there lovely job trim press enter get rid of that get rid of that we can't trim that we just delete that bit of it and what's missing we're missing the two circles now do you see the second one you don't see the second one i'm just going to put one in and uh, look i'm going to make this a hidden one i like that um two and a quarter is one and an eighth let's go back let's draw a line um 1.125 from there that's our man there now and then i'm going to bring this over that's the our be careful i don't know is that right is it right no that's that line is incorrect let's try that again let's get a different um i think that's what we want Bring that over. 
that seems correct one block two blocks one block two blocks no that line's wrong too see I have I, I did a line there and it's not much use to me let's go over 1.125 that's my end point see the snap has been the right pain I need to it's there I need to go off at 30 degrees let's try a different one hmm I have that line there all right I'm gonna do the same here 1.125 and I have a line there I'm gonna turn off um, snap for a second I'm just going to get myself a line, but I'm going to use, uh, turn on my object snap. And I want a line from there to there. And I think that's my line. Uh, okay. Let's turn this off. Let's go back here and let's go over. I have this here, I may as well get myself a dimension, make myself make my life a little bit easier. Let's put it on the dimension line. You know, I gotta turn off this. Um I've been drafting a long time and even simple stuff like this makes me think. Uh, I gotta turn this back on. Point six two five five eight and uh, point six two five. So let's turn this um, isometric back on. Let's get a line going and it will snap. I, I know what the problem is with that. I knew what the problem is with the snap. It was too much. It was um, at a quarter of an inch when it needs to be point one two five. So it's going to be a much smaller snap. I would have been able to get that line. My my problem was my snap was too um was too big. So I'll start there and I'm gonna come over five eight point six two five and that's my point right there. I'll delete that I'll de delete that line in a second. Zero uh, ellipse iso circle. That's my center. Now what's the radius? point uh, two five. Um, ah, look, you're not going to see that circle. All right, um, that's it. I'm too lazy to put it in. Let's be honest. Um, you could figure that out yourselves. Um, tricky enough. All right, uh, that was lesson six. I'm going to go to the title block. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to rectangular. I'm going to put in uh, press enter. To put it all over the place now um, i'm going to double click here and get on model model space and just put this in all right i'm gonna have to get my um zoom window i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger ah yeah all right and then i'm going to click model I'm going to move these dimensions back in. I need a bit more room there for my isometric. So I'm going to go back into model. I'm going to move this guy down. I'm in still an isometric space. Go and get out of it. There we go. Can I move this over here? That's lazy. I can grab the extension lines as well. Okay. Now, um, you could look. You could also move this guy over here. It's the same. Um, I'll get back over here. We go. All 
or, or, or you can have two viewports. Look, I'm I'm going to show you the right way of doing it. That's one viewport. I'm still in model space. Go on, get out of it. There we go. Um, I don't like how that. I don't like seeing those lines. Um, go back to model. Let's turn off the grid. Um, if we go move, I'm teaching you bad habits. Let's just move that over there. Ansi title block. Um, layout rectangular. Press uh, press enter. Double click. All right, it's very hard to get that zoom right. I just I'm always using the zoom window. Let's try it again. Oh, that's fair enough. I go from there to there, and that's decent enough. I click model to get out of here. Very nice. Um, we double click on this, and this brings up um, an enhanced attribute editor, which is nice. Sheet number. We double click in here. AutoCAD lesson. Six contract. Oh, that's one NSA one one one. Uh, let's let's try that again. Um, AutoCAD sheet number. No, we don't want that. That's the wrong one. Uh, sheet number value. Just let's leave it as six. Uh, the sheet name is what we want. Let me copy and paste. Lovely. Um, now I wonder what goes in that space there. Um, drawing subtitle. If I type in test, does it come up? No. Let's get rid of that. What goes in that top section there? Size checked. Um, contract approved. Drawing design activity. Now I wonder if I put something in there. Is that uh, that's yeah it could be a bit bigger um you know you could do the name of your organization and a rundle community college look take your time and do a de do a decent job um now i want to okay can i how do i change that if i want to can what can i do with that it's tiny too small um can I change the text if I right click on it? Block editor. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go in there. Can I go to home? Uh, annotate. Multi line text. Can I change this to be 0.3? Will it let me do it? Nothing. Um, uh, text options text size on that design activity um i might be winning here height rotation left center middle center um height let's make it um 0.25 uh, it's a bit much but let's give this see what we can do with it uh, i want to press enter I, I have an idea Okay, now watch this. Uh, we go Anne Arundel. C, C, yeah. Mm, text options. Now why won't it let me change? Yep. Bollocks of a thing that'll go away. Design, apply. Okay. That's still there. Not, it's it's we're going in the right direction um you could put your name in there as well look that's it um that's not too bad and uh, what's next next video we're going to do uh one more another isometric and another orthographic projection just practice um i did tell you i was going to change the dimensions though so let's go back there and let's instead of it being decimal dimensions let's see if we can do fractions um how do we do that i'm going to go into home annotation and here i'm going to go to modify primary units uh unit format 
fractional. Oh, we might be in business. Okay. Close. Oh, yeah. One and one eight, two and quarters. Yeah, that's it. That wasn't too hard. Four and three quarters. You, you know, in engineering, you wouldn't do this. Um, but like if you're bit designing, if you're lucky enough to be designing furniture, you, you would see, you might see dimensions or I don't know, large, I don't know, where would you see it? Furniture, cabinetry, stuff like that. You, I'm guessing you'd see, you'd have more dimensions like this. If you want to be proper, all units in inches or whatever or metric or whatever you're using let's make this that's okay that's fine let's um no messing around lovely i'll click on this uh, put this on dimension i tell you i do good work i like it Right, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. All right, keep keep working away.